Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ronnie with cookingforyouandme.com. Today we're making seared tuna steaks with a tomato soy sauce served over a bed of peppery arugula. The results are going to be delicious and gorgeous, so stay tuned. So the great thing about this dish is that there's not much preparation at all. The only two things that I want to do before heading back to the stove is rinsing my tuna. I have about one pound of tuna here. I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to put it on my paper towel to dry. So you want to remember when you're choosing your tuna, you want it to have like a nice red color. Um, basically what it looks like when you order tuna sashimi at a, a, a sushi place. Um, because if you go to a good sushi place, they have um, the freshest fish and that's what you want it to look like. If the tuna is starting to turn brown or it's like a super super light light color you probably don't want that one. It's probably going bad or rotting or something. You just don't want to eat it. You know you always want to get fresh fish especially with this dish because we're going to be searing it and not cooking it all the way through. So I'm just going to lightly pat this dry. I'm going to move it to the side. I'm going to cut about three-fourths cup of uh, sugar plum tomatoes here. I really like the ones that have different colors. I have an orange one here, a red one here, a maroon color here, and a yellow one here. They're just so pretty, and it makes the dish look so pretty as well. So I'm just going to cut these in half. Alright, so I have my sugar plum tomatoes here cut in half. I'm going to cut my tuna steak into about two to three pieces and then we're going to head on over to the stove and make the tuna and make the sauce. It's going to be so yummy. So I have my small pot here to make the sauce and my large pan to sear the tuna. I want to heat up a couple tablespoons of olive oil in each one. When the oil is hot, you want to throw in two cloves of crushed garlic and saute them until they're fragrant. When your garlic gets fragrant, you want to add 3 tablespoons of soy sauce. Then I want to add 3 tablespoons of seasoned rice vinegar. Followed by 1 teaspoon of wasabi powder. Then you want to whisk everything together, switch your heat to low, Add your tomatoes and cook them until they've softened up a bit and the skins are a little bit wrinkly. So while my sauce is simmering, I want to sear the tuna, but first I want to season it with some salt and some pepper. Tuna cooks really fast and since we're just cooking the outsides, you want to cook it on high heat for about 30 seconds on each side. Tomato soy sauce here is done. I have my peppery arugula and my seared tuna steak. Let's put it all together and give it a taste. Mmm, 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 mmm. That is some good stuff. I'm telling you, the seared tuna, the tomato soy sauce, the peppery arugula. Perfect combination. They are like a match made in heaven. You guys have got to try this. I'll see you guys next time on Cooking for You and Me with Ronnie Wu.